Hi and welcome to a introductory session on sociology. So what is sociology? To most of you, sociology will be a completely new subject, never studied before. Um, some of you may have done it at GCSE, which will give you a, a slight um, head start. However, it doesn't really make any difference. Um, so what is it? So sociology is the study of human behaviour, but it refers specifically to the, the social behaviour, society, patterns in relationships and social, social interactions, and the culture that surrounds our everyday lives. It is the general science of society, really. So what do we consider? So we consider how social forces influence our actions and whether we truly have the agency to make our own decisions. Are we free or is there some supernatural being that's controlling what we're doing. So society is fluid and ever-changing. So the normal of the past is vastly different from the normal of today. You'll, you'll know that from your history lessons. But we reflect on that and we think about societies of the past and, and the structures, for example, patriarchy, gender, gender inequality, different class systems and, and how wealth is distributed, how it was distributed um, historically and today. Um, gender inequality, as I've just mentioned, but we also look at the inequalities among different ethnic groups, which again has been prevalent um, in the media today. But also we consider um, the changes in our behaviours and the change of our world taken for granted and challenging our common sense knowledge. And you can see from what's been going on in recent months in terms of COVID-19 and how that's impacted topics like the family, education, how the things have been portrayed in the media. And these are all things that we're going to consider look at how crime's changed, how now it's a crime to not wear a mask. And if you'd have said that to us 12 months ago, we'd have, we'd have probably laughed and thought how, how outrageous that can't be true, but now it is actually a law. Um, and we consider the fluidity of that and the social construction. So again, we've seen firsthand how society and laws and education and families and beliefs have experienced drastic change and rapid changes over recent months. So sociology is about this transformation. So it's about analysing the inequalities in which arise from such circumstances and lead to socialisation, exclusion and poverty amongst particular social groups. So fundamentally of all, it'll allow us to understand ourselves, okay, the ways we think, the ways we behave and feel, indeed our sense of identity and how it is very much socially produced. So we'll look at human nature. So it's not something we're born with, but something we obtain. So it's not in the sense that it's something deep, natural, an instinctive thing that's set within us, but for the way that we think and behave and feel is shaped by the process of socialization, providing us with language, beliefs and values that establishes our identity and transform us in, transforms us into members of society. And what is it that controls that? You can see from this image, this empty vessel of a human being, being filled with things from the TV and other media outlets, filled information from school, from our parents, families, and historically, and less so um, from religion, but in terms of the beliefs that we have and how they shape our actions and our interactions with others, and therefore create our sense of self. Important uh, to consider the um, long-term routes that sociology can lead you to. And lots and lots and this list here isn't exhaustive exhaustive by any sense but gives you an idea of the vast range of, of disciplines and fields that you can go into um, when studying sociology and it's important to consider the content but also consider the skills you will become critical reflective sociologists your sociological imagination will be stretched far beyond like i say the common sense understanding of the world that we may have, have followed up to this point and really start allowing to critically reflect on everything, uh, which is a very useful and transferable skills if you're to go on um, to university in particular, but also in, in terms of any other field that you would like to study. It really does give you a multitude of strengths that set you above any other um, potential candidates that you will be up against in interview. So finally, to leave you with some uh, student appraisals. So these are from our current students that we have here at Chapel Town and gives you a little bit of an insight firsthand from those that are studying it and, and their views on sociology. So that is very snapshot, very short and sweet, but hopefully it gives you a little bit more of an insight into what sociology is, what you would be expected to um, 
to consider and question while studying sociology at A-level. Um, thank you very much for listening um, and I hope to see you soon.